Hello there, welcome back. My name is Amelia and in this video we're going to go through the installation of WordPress. So in the last video we unzipped our WordPress file that we downloaded from wordpress.org. We uh, grabbed all the details of our uh, WordPress folder there and we popped them onto our uh, web server folder there. Okay, so we've now got all our folders there. Uh, if we have a look down below, it's now all nice and clear with the queued files, but you should see all these successful files that, that have gone through. Okay, so that's where you'll see what's been successfully transferred and what hasn't. Hopefully there's nothing in this uh, area here. All right, so everything's done now. Let's now go through the installation process. So I'm now just going to minimize FileZilla. Uh, I don't think we're going to be using it again, but um, I'm just going to minimize that. Alright, so we're at the front page of Google, so what we are going to do is WordPress does have an automated way of being able to set this up. Now some tutorials will go through opening up the config configuration file, adding all your details in and going from there, but WordPress does have an automatic installation script. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to our domain name, so put in your domain name. Okay. And now we're going to put a forward slash and we're going to put WP dash admin another forward slash install dot PHP. Okay, press enter. And this is going to bring you to uh, the start of the installation process. So it's letting us know that we don't seem to have a WP config file, which is where we put all our database details. So um, it needs to create one for us. So let's create a configuration file. So click on that button there. And it's going to let us know the things that we are going to need to be able to create a configuration file. And we need a database name, a username and password and a host, which is what we did via um, our DreamHost account when we created a database name. And a table prefix, and we'll come to that in just a moment once we go through the other screen. So let's press the let's go. And this is where we put in all our information. So you'll see here we've got database name, a few things are pre-populated. So let's now put in our database name. So just copy and paste everything in, just uh, remove what's there, add in your um, details. Let's put in our username and the password. And uh, we'll put in our host name. So grab the full host name, the mysql.yourdomainname.com. Add that there. Now the table prefix, again, this is another constant that hackers will look for. A lot of people just leave it as it is. But you can um, add your own initials to it. So let's put, um, let's use the... Let's use some initials from the actual site that we're creating, WPBG, WP Beginner's Guide. Makes kind of sense. Leave the underscore there, click Submit, and it'll come to the next screen saying, great, we've added in all the right details. It's been able to connect to our host, host um, database area, and now we just do run the install. So click on that. It's going to bring us to another screen where we fill out some more information, and this is the details of our site. So let's put in... Let's put in our site name, username, it's already got admin in there, please do not put admin in there, put something else in there, again that's another constant that hackers look for, so let's put in, um, let's put in that, let's put in a password, and put in an email address, Now that's where um, any notifications are going to be sent to, so make sure it is a valid email address and again, like it says before, double check the email address, so make sure that is all valid. Allow engines to index this site, so this will um, allow Google and Bing and Yahoo to be able to search your site index in their search engine results, so you're probably going to want that, um, so if you don't want uh, search engines to index you in their search results, uncheck that, but I think you're going to want to leave that checked. So install WordPress and it's pretty much going to be instant, all done. We have now created a website, so we can actually um, go to 
their login page and have a look around so let's actually do that firstly take a note of your username and the password I'm just writing this on my notepad so it's already there let's click login and this will take us to the login screen so I'm not going to go through this just yet, I'm going to go through that in the next set of videos. Um, but pretty much what you want to do is, you've got this link here down the bottom, let's open this in a new tab. And this is our website. This is what you've just created. So you've done through all these all these you know processes, going through creating your database and your FTP and transferring files onto your web hosting account. Now we've gone through this installation process, this is the end result. Yeah, it's probably not looking that great at the moment. I mean, we only have just installed it. We haven't added any content, so don't expect it to be this, oh my gosh, fireworks moment. Um, but it's actually quite an achievement. So you've actually created your own web website. I can now give this link to anybody I want to and say, hey, I've got my new website up and running. It's all created. Go and have a look, even though you're not going to see much. Um, and by default, it's going to have one article there for people to read, which is this Hello World post. Um, and that's, that's all that's there. So, well done. We've gone through this process of installing our WordPress and having your first website created. So pat yourself on the back and, and feel good about that. It's actually quite an achievement. A lot of people, you know, struggle through this. So hopefully it hasn't been a struggle for you. So in the next set of videos, we're going to start going through a little bit of configuration with WordPress, a little bit of a walkthrough and uh, just to, to cap off this um, installation process. All right, so I will see you in the very next video. Okay. Bye.